Hey guys, and welcome to the next part of my Pokemon White Randomizer Nuzlocke playthrough. Okay, in the last episode I pretty much explored this entire town, and now I am, I think I'm ready for taking on the gym leader of this place. Although first I think I need to do some other things, I'm not really sure. Here is, yeah, here is Berg, the gym leader, but I still have to do some things with Team Plasma. Okay. Oh yeah, by the way, I want to make this episode before the world comes to an end. Hopefully I will succeed, and if you're thinking, Arno, what do you mean the world coming to an end? That joke is fucking lame, that's from December 21st. I'm not talking about those stupid Mayans from 5,000 years ago who made their prediction. Of course that couldn't have been right. What I'm talking about is what happened in Russia this night or this morning. Um, that's basically what happened there is a meteor shower took place and according to sources, but it's probably exaggerated, there are 400 people wounded and stuff. And like, people think that, well, yeah, people think that it's America's fault, like the Russians, yeah, the Russians think that it isn't a meteorite, they thought that it was a missile from, uh, from the USA, which of course would be bollocks. And yeah, hopefully no World War 3 will come out. If it will, then so be it, I suppose. <laughs> we can't really do too much about that. Hopefully they will save my neighborhood and they won't really touch that. And hopefully I won't have to go to the army because I wouldn't really like that either. Now, I quickly want to beat these Team Plasma members because I pretty much want I pretty much just want to get out of this town. I want to beat the gym leader and get the fuck out of this place. And apparently I can't use the same move twice in a row. I didn't even know he did that move, but who cares? You're dead. Come on, seriously, all I did was ask for your Pokemon. This is bad. Bad, bad, bad. Bad for Team Plasma, or Plasbad for short. Haha, <laughs> what a good fun, I see what you did there. It, it's in my best interest to go to report to go report to the Seven Sages right now. And they all go inside. Well, where could they have gone to? Now, the retarded girl Bianca, who lost her Pokemon, is back. You know what, I'm just skipping through the reading. And this time, Iris will join the fight. How fucking fabulous. Okay, and apparently I have to do some work as well, because the girls always want me to work. My word, if it isn't the gym leader, Berg. So, what would you say is the guiding principle of Team Plasma anyway? Take, take what you want from people? I thought it would be amusing to prepare a hideout right in front of a Pokemon gym, but we were detected more quickly than I imagined. Indeed, no matter, we already have an exceptional base of operations. Is everyone, fam is everyone familiar with the legend of the founding of the Unova region? Oh my goodness, now it's some legend time. The truth is this, the White Dragon appeared before a hero who sought the true way to knit together a world full of many warring, warring people. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. This White Dragon type Pokemon shared its knowledge and bared its fangs at those who stood against it. Together, the power of this Pokemon and the hero brought unity to the hearts of everyone in the land. And that is how the Unova, yeah, the Unova region was created. We shall bring back the hero and that Pokemon to Unova once again. If we can win people's hearts and minds, we can easily create the world that I, I mean, Team Plasma desires. Oh, you nearly said that what you desire. This seems like, it seems like you're not that good of a leader. Here in Castilia, we have a lot of different kinds of people. Everyone, everyone's way of thinking and lifestyles are very different. Honestly, there's something about what you're saying I don't quite understand, is what Berg says. One thing we all have in common is, is that we care a lot about Pokémon. Even people meeting for the first time can talk about Pokémon. Talk, or battle, or trade. Remember your speech at Accumula Town? You were responsible for leading me to rethink my relationship with Pokémon. For that, I thank you. At that time, I made a promise. Blah, 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 blah. Just, just like to, to put it in a nutshell, the guys from Team Plasma, they're the bad guys and I'm the good guy. And I honestly don't have, don't have to read through all this. Yeah, return our Pokemon is what Iris says. And they do return the Pokemon, that's pretty nice. Now my job is done. I showed my sexy face and made them scared. And they're gone. I didn't even have to do battling. Ugh, what, to, uh, what do we do if, anything, if anything's happened to the other stolen Pokemon? It's okay, thank you Iris, no one was hurt. More than anything, I got my darling Pokemon back. Okay, so if I get this correctly, Team Plasma ran off. They gave Bianca's Pokemon back, but they're still planning to do like to get to to steal more Pokemon from people. And Bianca doesn't give a flying fuck about it. She's like, oh, it doesn't matter as long as I have my fucking flying features Pokemon. It's no problem. They can go ahead and steal any Pokemon they want. Don't bother chasing them, guys. What is everyone planning to do now? Oh, it would be sensational to look around Castilia City, but don't worry, I'll keep on I'll keep on being your bodyguard. Iris. Hmm, that's great, but oh my goodness, I don't want to read all this. Just let me fucking battle this gym leader. I am really not in the mood for all the reading right now. See ya yeah, goodbye. Berg, 
please be waiting for me at the gym. This is the story in a nutshell. Sorry, I'm not really giving too much attention to the story, but it's already been five minutes, and I still have to do something decent. That, that is not the way to go at it, I think. Well, this is a Nuzlocke challenge, so from now on I should pay more attention, because I don't want my Pokemon fainting. What do you think of Castilian City? I bet with all of the bustling people, uh, you started feeling worn down on your way to the gym. Never mind, this will help, take it. How long do I have to talk, man? Okay, sure, I will try hard. Now, this is the gym. You can't really go through this if you just stand stand in front of it and, like, approach the honey. Yeah, it's honey, I think, yeah. Not honey, it's honey. <laughs> the things that bees make, you, you, like, you, you need to, like, run at it from quite a distance and keep running and now you're through. Then you press a button which opens a door. How am, how am, I don't know, amazing. Now, let, this is the first gym trainer. Hopefully I will, I will stand a chance. I mean, I do have a Pokemon that is good against bug Pokemon, I think, but the bug Pokemon might also be good against my psychic Pokemon as well. Battles in the Castilian gym are beautiful, they are pure art. Yeah, sure. I really don't like the way this gym looks, actually, but it's not really my business. Was well, this a grass gym or a bug gym? I'm kind of confused now. Well, I'm going to keep on using this Pokemon. Apparently, I am doing a good job. So while well, you're dead, I'm level 24 if everything goes good. Yep, it does. Venipede. Well, that is a poison and a bug Pokemon. I should stand a chance, I think. Yep, that's an instant kill. Good job, Astro. Falling beautifully for the sake of art. Sure, as long as I win, doesn't really matter if it's for the sake of art or for the sake of my grandmother in the hospital. I don't really give a fuck. What is this? Is this a painting? No, I can't really do anything. I can't interact with the painting. Which is logic, I suppose. And I think that the trainer will pop up if I stand on this. Here you go. When you step on the switch, the one that pops out is moi. On that note, have a battle with moi. Sure thing. And do you want me to speak French for you? Hardly can carry. You know what? I'm not gonna do that because no one, yeah, none of my subscribers would like me talking French. I think I could always try to speak French. Holy shit! That was very effective. I should pay attention. Dwebble, that is partially a bug Pokemon and a rock Pokemon. If I, oh my goodness, Rock Blast! Don't don't tell me that you're gonna kill me. Okay, you you're not gonna kill me. That's good. I think I'm going, at, I'm going at too fast a speed, I don't know. Maybe I should like slow it down a little bit, because right now I'm playing at two times the speed to so 200%, and maybe I should change it to 150. Hiding makes battle instincts dull, you know? Then why were you hiding, you fucking piece of shit? Is everyone in this gym gay or something? Come on. Well, I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center, so be right back. <clears throat> okay, now I'm actually thinking, what if I still had my pit of... That would have been really handy. Or was it a bit of? I don't know. Like, it was the fourth generation. It could have been a Starly as well. I don't really know which, which Pokemon I had. Oh, and I have to battle you again? Oh, okay, yeah, I'll press the switch again, and now you pop up and say, like, What's going on, you bitch? And this gate is almost open. Now I need to, like, step on the switch on the other side as well. And one of the gates is open. How fucking fantastic. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to get close to that, to that trainer again to get through this wall. There you go. Now I am at 50% of reaching the gym leader. In this episode, what do I want to accomplish? I pretty much want to beat, want to have beaten the gym leader and I also want to have caught the first Pokemon on the next route, which is going to be a desert area. Hopefully you guys will be okay with that. Now I'm nearly there. I guess that the last switch is going to be a trainer. I actually know for sure. Here you go. Thank you for going to the trouble of calling me out. I'll channel my gratitude to my Pokemon's moves and make sure it gets to you. Okay, as long as I don't get any STDs, you clown. Rick. Oh no, Suwaddle. I actually, I'm actually having problems with Suwaddles. Like, if they get a critical hit with their bug bites or something, I will be fucked. But I get a critical hit now, that is fucking amazing. I'm actually not getting the XP I actually wanted to get. But I'm not gonna start crying about it. If you hadn't stepped on that switch, I'd still be stuck hidden away. That's right, bug gym trainers like to be bugged. Oh my goodness. You can, this is so innuendo. I'm really imagining some dirty things when you guys open your mouth. Oh, I'm actually glad that there's no shit or sperm dripping out of your mouth. You guys really seem like cocksuckers. Not that I have anything against gay people, but in video games I don't want to see that. And you surprised me, sir. 
Because that's some surprise butt sex or something. I'm not letting that happen. I'm all the way for the boobs. You send out a Venipede, which is like a free 300 XP, and it actually kind of sucks. Like me, like me, barely get barely getting any XP from these Pokemon. Like I haven't, I've barely even gained any XP. 250, that's nothing. You send out a Suwaddle, which is level 20. I should be able to kill that in one hit, and I don't. My goodness, are you fucking kidding me, man? Well, you're dead now. Goodbye. I'm still not level 25. Fucking amazing that is. Let's step, let's step on this switch, and I will give a potion or something to my Pokémon. I actually don't think I have any potions while well, I have that fresh water that the guy gave me. I still don't know whether it's poisonous or not, but who cares. I have some Hyper Potions, one fresh water, a Soda Pop, and two Super Potions, and one normal potion. You know what, I think I'll be alright. Let's just give some normal potions, here you go. Lose my used up my last potion. Okay, now let's go onwards to the next gym trainer. Well, the gym leader at, at that. Let's go at it. <laughs> okay, so here you are. You sure do look gay. Okay. Thanks again for your help. My bug Pokemon are scurrying with excitement about getting to battling you. Let's get straight to it. Sure thing. As long as you keep your penis in your pants, I am all right with anything. We sent out a Whirlipede, looks like I made the right choice to, to put my Astro up front. If I manage to get the first hit, I will be really happy. And you're dead, Whirlipede. Now my Pokémon should be level 25. He is, that is great. A Dwebble, now I don't want to take any risks. Which Pokémon should I take out against a Dwebble? It's partially a Grass Pokémon as well. Maybe I'm gonna change to my Quinton, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do some Gusts and Confusions with my Quinton. That should be alright. And if you're gonna kill my Quinton, hell, I'm not gonna start crying about it. It's not like I give a fuck about that. Oh, Confusion actually barely does any damage, and you do a lot of damage in return. This is not good. I don't want to sacrifice my Quinton just for the sake of sacrificing him, so let's change Pokémon now. Oh, Dwebble is actually not- oh my goodness, I'm so stupid. Well, who cares? Smackdown, that doesn't do so much damage. Let's go for the Dragon Rage! I know it's not gonna kill him, but hell, it's gonna be close to killing him. Use your Hyper Potion because you are fucking stupid. I start missing and someone's at my door. My goodness, I'm fucking... I'm getting pissed right now. Give me a second, I'll pause the video. <clears throat> okay, let's go at it again. Let's do some more Dragon Rages. I think this is gonna be hard, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna let you do one more Smackdown. I fucking miss again because of this sand attack. This is really getting on my nerves. Now let's give a fresh water to my Fafnir. Here you go, Smackdown, I don't care. I couldn't care less, you sucker. Let's go for the other Dragon Rage, and if I don't kill you now, I'm gonna be fucking pissed at you. Luckily, I do manage to kill you, level 21. And I want to learn Slash, which is a pretty good physical move. It is better than Scratch at any rate, so let's just teach it instead of Scratch, okay. And your last Pokemon, that is Levani, or Levani, I don't know. <laughs> let's go to my... Courage? I don't know. You're partially bug, which isn't very effective against fighting, and isn't very effective against steel either. Oh my goodness, this is such a hard choice. You know what, I'm gonna stick with my Fafnir for a second, do at least one Dragon Rage, and try to finish you off with it, with one of my other moves. If you don't... Uh... Oh my goodness, I fucking miss again! This is getting on my nerves right now. It really is, and I'm running out of Dragon Rages as well. I should have probably switched out or something. Holy shit. This is dramatic, it really is. Let's go for the uh, Soda Pop, which heals 60 HP. Give that to my Fafnir. My god. Razor Leaf, what the hell, man. Now I need to hit this, or otherwise I'm screwed. Hit, hit, and I hit! Okay, and I managed to kill you without losing any Pokémon. Fafnir gets a shit ton of XP. Is it over? Oh, okay then. Well, I didn't really have to work that hard for this gym badge. Oh, I lost. Whatever, losing to you doesn't bug me because I am, because you are amazingly strong. This is a gym badge. Yeah, gym badge. You beat me, so it's yours. And I get the gym badge, which is peculiarly shaped in the form of a heart. How nice. Okay, well, thank you for the gym badge. It's the insect badge. It's insectable. I mean, incredible. <laughs> I see what you did there, bug. If you have three badges, Pokemon at level 40 will obey you, include tr including traded Pokemon. Because I'm a generous guy, I'll also give you this. I get Struggle Bug, which is a decent bug move, if I'm not mistaken. Let's take a look. Can any of my Pokemon learn it? 
first I'll take a look whether it's a good move or not. It does 30 damage, nah, it's actually not that good, but I might as well teach it to one of my Pokémon. It's a special attack, so I should pay attention to that. Let's teach it to my Quentin. You're my only real bug Pokémon anyway, so... Uh, let's get rid of... Protect and Struggle Bug. Now I do have Stab on that move, if I'm not mistaken. Let's take a look at your stats, actually. Quinton <laughs> slash Dustox. Yeah, your special attack is pretty decent, so I think you will be fine. Yeah, you'll be good enough. Now, let's go onwards. Let's get the fuck out of this place, because I've been wanting to get out of this town for a while now. Oh, that's my mistake. And I'm through. My god, it feels like I'm, like, trying to... I don't know, get through condoms or something. It really feels gross. And the extra receiver is ringing. Is it gonna be my mum or the professor? Oh, it's Bianca, my goodness. Hi there, where are you now? Could you do me a favor? Let's have a Pokemon battle. Iris has trained me and I've become a little stronger. I should be able to protect my own Pokemon. Let's meet at the gate to Route 4. Okay, see you later. See you later, alligator. Looks like I have a little date with Bianca. And since Bianca is so fucking intelligent, this will be amazing. I think that her first Pokemon is gonna be the Herd Year or anything like I know that she plays with the uh, Lillipup and its evolutions, and I know that Lillipup is not to be underestimated. Lillipup is kind of good, so uh, I'm gonna put my fighting Pokemon up front, and I think that I should be able to win. If I'm not, then uh, I don't know what I should do. If I lose to Bianca, if I lose this Nuzlocke challenge, I, I can't be held responsible for the consequences. <laughs> I really can't. I will probably start, I don't know, eating the entire continent of Asia or something just because I'm so like angry losing to the one I hate the most which is Bianca I'm gonna try to keep on discriminating against her because she deserves it and she's probably in love with me as well well Bianca I'm gonna rape you now on the entrance to route 4 that was where you were waiting right? couldn't you, couldn't you have been waiting for me like here in this romantic square that would have been nicer oh yeah and actually I think I need to receive an item from those dancers because I collected two other dancers for the yeah, for the one with her team thanks man I've got the best team in the world here that's how I feel and yeah she gives me an amulet coin which basically means that if I give it to the Pokemon that is the first Pokemon in my party you will get more yeah you will get more cash from trainers and stuff I wish that item would exist in real life, but we can't really get everything in life. My Pokémon are, are actually not that over leveled anymore, so I'm gonna have to do some off-screen training if I want to go. If I want to get somewhere, hey Arno, you remember the promise you made on your extra receiver, right? Yeah, sure. I didn't really get to say yes or no, so yeah, the choice was yours. So let's get right to our Pokémon battle. But before that, she's talking to someone. They said we can have a Pokémon battle in the gate as long as we're careful not to break the electric bulletin boards. I'm the new and improved version of me, and I'm gonna go great this time. Let's start up our Pokemon battle. Sure, Bianca. Have a go at it. <laughs> I wonder if you're gonna win against me. If you are, then I'm gonna have to, like, reset my priorities in life. But yeah, you only have level 18 Herd Gear. I said that Herd Gear was not to be underestimated, but this is not gonna be hard, I think. Force Bomb. Oh, it, doesn't, it actually doesn't kill you. <laughs> well, you're dead now. You killed yourself, pretty much. That is how miserable your Pokemon are. Level 25, you send out a Duot, which is the water Pokemon. I don't really have anything for anything against Duots, I'm, I'm afraid. Maybe Quentin, I could do something with that? No, I don't know. I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna, ugh, I'm gonna go for my Fafnir, because that is a Dragon Pokemon, and water moves won't be very effective against Dragon Pokemon. So that's my safest bet. Let's go for the Dragon Rage, because at this point in the game, you only need two Dragon Rages to just to, uh, to kill any Pokémon. So, Dragon Rage is like my best move so far. <coughs> Muna, I'm gonna stay with this Pokémon, because your Crunch, or whatever that was, or Bite, is gonna be pretty good. And let's do Bite, and that should probably kill you. Yep, you're dead now, you floating fetus. I even helped you get your trainer back, and still you battle me. Pansir, that is the water monkey, if I'm not mistaken. No, 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 it's not the water monkey. It is the the fire monkey. That's what it was. I can use my water Pokemon against yours. <laughs> it's been a while since I last played with my Captain Jack. Hopefully, I will get some decent water moves pretty soon, because right now, Water Gun is like uh, starting to cut it, I guess. I'm starting to feel drowsy. How amazing. I do manage to kill you before I fall asleep, so that is good. I'm level 21. Do I learn anything new? I don't. I trained with Iris, but I still couldn't win. 
Yep, if your Pokémon are that weak, it's only natural that your Pokémon will try to get... Yeah, will try to get Steel away. Okay. When you look at it that way, Pokémon have given me a lot of new experiences. Having my Pokémon stolen was just really hard and I felt really unsure. Still, I gotta say I'm really glad I went. I've learned so much on this journey and I also learned that being with Pokémon is really, really important. Okay, well, I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye, Arno. Goodbye, Bianca. Let's go to the next route. The first Pokemon that I catch in here will be the Pokemon to accompany me for the rest of my journey. Hopefully. And I should probably put a different Pokemon up front because my courage is already kind of overleveled. Let's go with my Fafnir. I mean, you're one of my better Pokemon and I shouldn't uh, let you be under levels. Let's pick up this item and X accuracy, which isn't that handy. And Sharon is standing there, so that's probably the second rival battle. Should I do that in this episode? Nah, I've already been going for 20 minutes. And when am I gonna meet a Pokemon, for fuck's sake? Don't I, like, have to walk in here, and then I will encounter some Pokemon, inevitably? Oh, finally! That's the first Pokemon. What is it? What is that? Grumpig. Grumpig. What? what? I mean, you look cool, but... What? Say what? <laughs> is, is that a good Pokemon or not? I don't know. The sandstorm is gonna hurt you from now on, so I'm gonna start throwing my Pokeballs at you. Nets Ball, that works especially well on water and bug type Pokemon now. I'm just gonna go for the Pokeballs now. I know that he's probably not gonna, like, uh, be caught right at, right at the start. Or maybe you will. No, you're not. But after a while, the sandstorm is gonna, like, do... is gonna start doing some damage, so I need to be quick. Let's throw a Great Ball at you to, like, increase the chance of catching you. If, if you kill yourself or if the sandstorm kills you, I'm gonna be mad. You Psy Wave... Oh my goodness. Please don't die on me. I wasn't really looking for, like, I wasn't really uh, thinking about that this would happen. Great ball. Come on. Be mine. Be mine. Yes! You're mine, Grumpig. I've never played with you before. So what type of Pokemon are you? It uses black pearls to amplify its psycho power. It does an odd dance to gain control over foes. It's a psychic Pokemon. Well, I don't have a psychic Pokemon. I actually do have one. Shit. But who cares? Let's give him a nickname, so I'll be right back. <clears throat> okay, well, this is Porking. I call him Porking right now. P-O-R-K-I-N-G. And uh, it prevents the Pokemon from becoming confused, which is kind of handy. And I will show you now its... Uh, I will show you its moveset now. This is what he moves... Yeah, this is what he looks like. I'm sorry for the professionality here, but yeah, you know, some kind of good move, like Psy Wave and stuff. Maybe I can teach a proper TM to him or something. I'm gonna take a look. Struggle Bug, Ruxma... Nah, probably not. Not yet. It's too early for that, but... Who cares? Now I will end the episode. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry for the uh, yeah. I'm sorry for the huge amount of grammatical errors that I made in this episode. I just don't really feel like talking English right now. But I do think that this episode is watchable, even if I do say so myself. Goodbye.